All right, you got a D&D game coming up and you need a fifth level character that's not too basic, but also not too broken. You want a multi-class, but you need an idea that both works at this level and have options down the line. And you need something that is grounded, something that just feels natural, something that just scratches your feral instincts. You can combine all the natural classes, but that's ridiculous. Maybe we should just go back to the drawing board. And For those of you who want to know what the build is, before we get into the details, here it is. We're going to be a Shifter, Swarm King, Ranger, Spore, Druid, Multiclass with the Outlander background. The combat style is going to be the frontline to mid-range fighter who will use defensive spells and cantrips. So you're going to have plenty of options in and out of combat as well as good utility to compensate for the lack of your high damage options. I even feel the subclasses work together thematically because you're going to have the Druid Spores be part of the Ranger Swarm or vice versa. Now that we have the concept in place, let's get into the details. For the race, I wanted to go with Shifter since it seems to be on brand for getting us some more attuned to nature and gives us some backup abilities when we're running low on our main class features. These racial features being Dark Vision 60 and Extra Skill Proficiency and the ability to shift. Shifting is a bonus action ability that lasts a minute and can be used proficiency bonus times per long rest. While you are shifted, you get two times proficiency temporary hit points and additional benefit you choose at character creation. Personally, I'm going to go with Peace High for the extra temporary hit points and armor class, but Swift Stride and Wild Hunt are both good options if those appeal to you. Assuming you're using the point by system, you can get a stat spread of 10 Strength, 14 Dex, 14 Con, 12 Intelligence, 16 Wisdom, and 10 Charisma. This even hits the multi-class improved weapons for Druid Rangers, as well as Defense Modifier for the rest of our skills. For background, I decided to go with Outlander for the Athletics and Survival skills, and the Wanderer feature to find food without the need of our magic. The first three levels of this build are going into Rangers, so we can pick up Spellcasting, Fighting Style, and our Ranger Archetype. I also prefer to use the optional class features in Talshers, Culture, and Everything, which are Death to Explore, Favorite Foe, Primal Awareness, Additional Ranger Spells, and Spellcasting Focus. I feel these give more flexibility to your character when you compare them to the standard class abilities. For the Fighting Style, Druidic Warrior seems fun since we can focus on using cantrips instead of weapons. Those cantrips we're going to choose are going to be Thorn Whip and Primal Savagery. Just because we are not using weapons does not mean we can't actually get up into people's faces. Normally, giving up weapons makes our character lose out on the utility, but it actually works out in this situation because of our Ranger Archetype, Swarm Keeper. On top of getting additional spells from Swarm Keeper Magic, the coolest ability is Gathered Swarm. Once on each of your turns, when you hit a creature with an attack, we can either deal extra damage, move the target 15 feet if they fail a strength save, or move yourself 5 feet. The reason that this works is that the feature says we have to hit a creature with an attack, not hit a creature with a weapon attack. This means it will work with our spells as long as it requires us to make a spell attack roll. Now that we have half of our build down, let's look what we get for taking a dip into Druid. On top of the obvious benefit for more cantrips and spell slots, the key ability we get comes from second level when we pick our Druid Circle, Circle of Spores. Like our Ranger subclass, we get additional spells as we level, but we're focusing on all the other abilities, Halo of Spores and Symbiotic Entity. Halo of Spores gives us a 10-foot aura that allows us to use a reaction to force a creature to make a constitution saving throw or take necrotic damage. Even though it's not a lot of damage, it's good if you need to chip away some health. Symbiotic Entity allows us to take an action to expend a wild shape to get four times our Druid level temporary hit points, and we can roll additional die whenever we're using our Halo of Spores feature. Since we do not plan on using weapons, we're we're not going to get the benefit of the extra d6 for more weapon attacks. Granted, that's just a way to play this character. If you want to use weapons, go for it. The goal is to have fun and don't feel you need to make the same choices as me when you're designing this character. So how does this build play at the table? You're kind of focused on doing the same thing every turn, that being using your cantrips. You have Primal Savagery when people get up close, Chill Touch for a distance, and Thorn Whip to get people closer to you. Each of these can be amplified to deal an extra 1d6 damage or move enemies around the battlefield. Halo Sports and Symbiotic Entity are great for when someone gets up close and you have time to set up for it. Otherwise, you have the ability to shift when you need some extra defense if you don't have temporary hit points from your Druid abilities. So at this level, you have five uses of abilities to give you temporary hit points, and the better one comes back on a short rest. Your spell options do overlap between classes, but that just means you have multiple sources to pick from. Characters like this are some of my favorites because we get our cool abilities early, so you can just pick whatever feels right at later levels. You can go to Druid if you want a bigger or better cloud of spores, or you can go more to Ranger if you want to make your attack stronger and really get more in touch with your swarm. So what do you think of this build? What would you do differently? I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Either way, here's an inspiration for your next saving throw, and I hope you have a nice day.